Hey everyone, how's it going? It's Quentin here and welcome to tutorial number eight. And in this tutorial, I'm gonna show you guys how to use the IP blocker if you wanna block certain IP addresses. So that is under the security uh, tab or the security panel. So let's scroll down uh, to IP blocker and I'm gonna click on that. And this is incredibly straightforward. All you do is uh, follow one of these instructions. So if you wanna block a single IP address, then you'll take that one single IP address that you wanna block, copy that, paste it in there. Uh, I assume that you will have a list of IPs that you wanna block from whatever program detected that someone was spamming or hacking you. Uh, and then you go ahead, put that IP address in here, click add. And once you've done that, the IP address will appear down at the bottom of the page uh, just under currently blocked IP addresses. Now you can also block an entire range. So you can block from 192.168.0.1 to 192.168.0.40 or to, uh, I mean, make it all the way to the end, 255. Uh, uh, so yeah, you could go ahead and block IP addresses like that if you wanted to, but it is not very effective. Uh, I'd say if you put some IP addresses in here because someone hacked your site, you'll probably land up in the same situation tomorrow and the next day and the next day. Uh, as long as you you uh, have people out there that are attacking you, uh, like they'll just switch to a different IP address as soon as the one IP address is blocked. So. Uh, a more common method is just to beef up security on the front end of your site. Uh, and uh, WordPress or Joomla have all these different security plugins available. If you're using something other than WordPress or Joomla, like some custom PHP site, uh, then you really need to look into coding, um, something like that, especially if you wanna uh, defend yourself against uh, bots, you'll see the most common thing that people do is add uh, captures. So then you'll have to fill in that little thing, prove that you are a human. Uh, and so yeah, those are mo a lot more effective than blocking IPs because I find um, if you block an, an IP, they just change their IP and they come back at you and attack from a different IP. So uh, it's up to you to decide whether you wanna block IPs or not, but like I said, if you block an IP today, then you're more than likely gonna be blocking more IPs tomorrow and they won't even be in the same range as the, the one that you currently blocked. So anyway, that's all I have for you in this tutorial. Don't forget to subscribe. Please feel free to leave a comment, like and share this video. It's really gonna help my channel grow and I'll see you guys next time.